The new Timer Pro version 12 includes a completely new ergonomic module. Here we have a job on the screen and we've seen one item here where the operator is obviously struggling to get the cage on here. He probably needs some help and he could also potentially damage the cage down here. What we can do is we can come up here, we can click on the drop down here and from the many items offered to us in Timer Pro, we can pick the ergonomics here. And if I double click on the ergo column in the activity that I'm interested in, it will bring up a body map of that. I can then play back the video directly from the body map screen and stop it when I see an issue. But if I was doing that, it wouldn't be good for my back. I click on the lower back. No stress, light, moderate, severe. I'm going to say pretty severe in the back. He's reaching with his right arm. I'll give him moderate stress on the arm and hand. And since we get the video, you can see he's standing in one foot. So we can pick that up here too. You probably miss that if you're standing there with a stopwatch or an iPad. Then we can identify the types of stress. So it's lifting, it's force, it's posture, it's twisting and turning. But it's not repetition, eye strain. What percent of the total video clip is under stress? I might say 50%. Now, everything you see here and in the group list here, you get to define in an Excel template. So if you get your own safety parameters you're after, you can put them in here and have them appear right here. So for instance, here I can go to the mobility of trunk and I might say, well, it's a trunk bend is dynamic, 20 to 60 degrees. I may also be relocating loads. I can slide this down here. I've got uh, push and pull. I could enter the weight, for instance, of the uh, cage. I can then say it's a short pull. Body posture is very bad. The conditions of execution are difficult. The positioning accuracy is uh, low and it's slow and it's going to use a cart. And I might say he needs help and it could damage product. All I do is click here on the print and one second later that's out into Excel. Anyone who doesn't have Timer Pro can actually come in and just play the video back directly from the Excel sheet without having Timer Pro. And when I save it, of course, it highlights this as being something we need to look at from an ergonomics point of view. We can do exactly the same thing from the line balancing area. Up here, I have my default value added, non-value added. I'm going to switch to ergonomics. And you can see this is the task I just passed over. I click on it and all the information I put together in the video module is now available to me inside the line balancing area. If you want to analyze the complete job of an operator, you can reach for the cage. He can pull the cage because obviously different stresses are happening with each motion here and he can lower the cage. So if I actually broke this, this one activity into three motions here, when you're in the ergonomics mode, all of your activities will be color coded according to the severity of the ergonomic stress. You can go directly to the comparison screen here, click on the play option in the sequence control area and it will play back each of the video clips in turn while showing you the ergonomic stresses as the operator changes from position to position. So you can see we're going into the high stress area here. He's pulling it over. Now he has to really control it dropping down. Now there's no stress. And now a little bit of stress walking away here. And of course, sometimes you have to get the information back to people who may not be in your facility, may not have access to Timer Pro. So there's a very nice option under the summary area here. And that is called the ergo summary here. This will take each of the steps that you see here and it will send them out to a separate sheet in an ergonomics workbook. So I can just click on the ergo summary and it starts generating the workbook for me. So what you have here is basically each step in the process documented individually with all the characteristics of it. We also have a video link. Click on it here. It will play back the activities directly from the Excel sheet without even having Timer Pro.